Alright everybody, and welcome back to Secret of Evermore. A lot of stuff happened in the last video, and I'm not going to recap all of it. But suffice to say, we fought, uh, Elizabeth's evil twin, and got shot out of a volcano, and ended up in a strange pirate land, and then we crossed a huge desert, and something about a market, and then it dressed as a blur. Anyway, the sacred dog, that's Higgins by the way, he's apparently the sacred dog, he chose us to uh, be the champion to fight in the arena against Vigor. I think that was his name. Vigor or Victor, something along those lines. Uh, the point is, he's a gladiator, and we're a small child. So, uh, the odds are not in our favor. But luckily, they left this really good armor in these pots in a room over here. And I already went over that at the end of the last video, and I won't spoil you with that. But check this out. We were wearing the dino skin at the end of the at the beginning of the last video, and we have made a massive leap in terms of armor power. Just in one video alone. Don't take your clothes off, it's not effective. Alright, so we got all that equipped, and one thing I do like is the dialogue in the next scene will be reflected by the uh, weapon you have equipped. It's not a big thing, but I like it. And I have to figure out where this secret passageway goes, and I seem to be stuck already. Alright, there we go. I think there's also a little secret door over here. There is, in fact, not a secret door over there. Or down here, and I don't know what I'm talking about. You should watch someone else. But it's too late, I've already got your attention. So, oh god, we still have no healing spells. Oh, it's, it's so bad. This is not good. This actually might be bad for us. I don't know. We'll have to see. This might go poorly. We'll have to see. Hopefully we can use our, uh, our alchemy abilities, but the dog won't be with us, so we can't use our spell stacking like we did in the last encounter, so... We might actually have a bit of a challenge. Let's see how it goes. Onward and upward, I suppose. You stay here, Higgins. Stay, and don't get into any more trouble. Higgins lays down and thinks about what he's done. Really, he was the evil mastermind all along. Ladies and gentlemen, you paid for an entire seat, but you're only gonna need the edge. This is the main event. Entering the Colosseum, the King of Chaos, the Babylonian Bruiser, the Pulverizing Prince of Pandemonium, Vigor the Indestructible. Cool. And introducing the challenger. Some loser with a stick. Well, it's good to know the crowd's on my side. It's like in the big fight scene in Dirt, Sword, Sweat, and Togas. I think the hero got pummeled in that one. Oh well, here goes nothing. Let the battle begin! So Vigor is kind of different from most enemies in this game. Facing actually does matter. If you attack him from the front, you won't do much damage to him, so you have to hit him in the ass, and I think I missed him. Nope, come on, we got a hit. Okay, so maybe we can get a couple more uses out of Hardball here. Is Hardball? No, it doesn't uh, conflict with Crush, so we can still spam both. Like I said, we can't do the hardcore spell spamming that we were doing in the in the previous battle because the dog is not here and I can't use that little glitch. But hopefully we'll be able to do enough damage with the alchemy that we have in order to be able to kill him. And that's all we're getting out of Crush for now. So we gotta rely on Hardball. Maybe I lied, maybe this is the last hurrah for Hardball. Okay, he's gonna do a little charge! He's tracking me. And the audience will attack you in this fight, too. I think I said that already, but yeah, they'll throw stuff at you as well. So you don't want to get too close to the audience down there. Now, when I was a kid and I sucked at this game, what I would do is hide down here. Because he can't get to you with his little charge attack. And 
eventually, and he'll do that apparently, and eventually he'll run away and you could just run out and throw a spear at him. And that's what I would do as a kid fighting this guy. But you don't really have to do that if you have alchemy leveled up. Who knows, we might. This my guy might have like a shit ton of hit points. And he'll do his little Shao Kahn thing like he just did a minute ago, and that's also a good opportunity to attack the guy. Oh, ooh. thank God for iframes. And then I just ran into him anyway like a dumbass. Good job. This is why I make the big bucks. Alright. I mean, we haven't used a call bead yet. I might want to go ahead and do that just to show what they even look like while we're throwing hard balls at them. They don't do a lot of damage, but it is consistent at least. I don't have to try to get in position and hit him in the back. A hard ball from any direction is still a hard ball. And if I keep hitting him with hard balls, he can't actually do anything, so... There's that, too. I realize this makes for very thrilling content. Very repetitive actions. Uh, very exciting, especially when there's no risk involved. But if you have it, you might as well use it, I suppose. I remember this fight being really, really difficult, but, you know, I go over that every time I have a boss fight in this game, I talk about my childhood incompetence. Which, I guess, made every fight in this game. Oh, see, we hit him from the front, it didn't do any damage. See if we can get a good spear hit on him and see what that does. Sure. Ah, 68. Not bad. Not as consistent as hardball, but, you know, still good. I, mean, I think we maxed out hardball. Yeah, we've got 12 more of them left. I don't know how many hit points this guy has. And a Salabog had quite a few to chew through. I don't think this guy's quite that bad, but, uh, he's pretty bad. Okay, we got him. And like everything in this game, he explodes. We have a thousand jewels! In the sound of victory. Caleb is victorious! Congratulations! We underestimated your abilities. That was a lot of hardballs. Please, accept this sword as your reward. Receive the Gladiator Sword. Thanks! But, uh, you know, what I'd really like is, uh, a clue. Where are we? What are we doing here? How do we get back to Podunk? Hmm... Your answer lies on the west side of the river, somewhere far away from here where I don't have to deal with you. They are in the diamond eyes of the sacred dog statue. With these treasures, our leader will have the power to send you back where you belong. You guys are really on a sacred dog kick. Uh, this dog is really my buddy, Higgins. He's an asshole. He just hasn't been himself lately. The statue bearing his likeness holds great power, and the diamond eyes are the key. We need the adventuring skills of you and your dog to find and bring back the jewels. Well, as Dusty Duffy McGander says in Perilous Patrol over Pluto, we may not have a rat's chance in a room full of cats, but we're going after that cheese. Let's go, Higgins. We're not being manipulated at all. And just in case you forgot... Have you found the diamond eyes yet, number two? Not yet, your cleanliness. But I have offered a reward to the adventurers in town on the river shore. Do you mean to tell me that you have to have those unkempt cretins looking for the jewels? This is an important job, not something that should be left to brutes with no sense of personal hygiene. They may not be clean, but they know their way around this world. That 
boy you warned me about is also looking for the jewels. <laughs> if he survives, I'll have a little surprise for him when him and his dog return. We've already had a problem with that meddling kid on the plateau, number two. Don't let that happen here. And try to keep the old coot on the other side of the river out of this. And this, is, this time they're actually letting us into the bad guy's evil plan. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Higgins. There's a town on the other side of the desert, we can cross the river there. And we can start searching for those diamonds. So yeah, we basically have no choice but to play into the evil McBad guy's plan. So when last we left off, I had levitated this river, or levitated this rock, and uh, then I had to load a save state after making a terrible misjudgment, so we'll do this again. There's a point to this, I promise. Not a very important point, but a point nonetheless. I am Tiny the Barbarian. I am the strongest creature alive. Nobody lifts my rock but me. You know, it's, uh, it's ironic your name is Tiny because uh, you're actually very large. Yes, Tiny likes irony. Do you want Tiny to show you the real way to lift a rock? I'll do it for a tapestry from the market, which we should have. It's a deal. Clear the way. This is going to be good. Now that's how you lift the rock. I wonder if that rock will ever land. Okay then. So. Uh, I allegedly did research on the market, and uh, my dog ate it. So, uh, there's nothing in this market that I really consider essential to finishing the game, to be completely honest. I realize that will disappoint some of you, but that's just the way it be. Uh, there are a couple things here that I do want to show off, though. I don't think this guy will do his thing anymore, since we already did the thing with the Centurion Cape. I could be incorrect, but I don't believe he does. There are a couple of items down here, we'll see how hard they are to get, and if it's too much of a pain in the ass, uh, I'm not gonna bother with it, to be completely honest. Uh, gloves of Raw, we already have one of those. Um, the Silver Sheath, that, as I mentioned, that is already glitched, and basically it is always applied, regardless of whether you have the item or not, so there's no reason to actually get one. She appraises items, so this is how you can basically get unlimited money. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that unless we really, really need money for something. Okay, heal your wounds more effectively when you possess the Moxa stick. You need two chickens, a jeweled scarab, and 12 jars of spice. So, okay, jeweled scarab was in that, in that building. You had to go through that little building to get one. And I don't believe we have any chickens. Uh, I do kind of want to buy a chicken, just so I can imagine the kid walking around with a chicken in his pants the entire game. But, uh, we don't have one right now. Uh, we have, we have plenty of spice, we have three annihilation amulets. Uh, so we got plenty of spice, we just need two chickens and a scarab. Here's our chicken lady. As much as I hate to part with one of my chickens, I'd be willing to trade them for a jar of spice and two bags of rice each. Uh, I want three chickens. You can never have too many chickens. I don't remember what we need. Okay, I think we needed a spoon for the scarab. I'm basing this entirely off of my session last night, uh, and I may or may not actually remember what we need. Uh, so I'll take a souvenir spoon. I think that's what we need to get for uh, the scarab. And then once we have the scarab and the chickens and the spice, we can get the moxa stick. And I can say that I did something in the market, and hopefully that will satisfy somebody, but probably not. Also, we can go ahead and get our, our Atlas Medallion here from this guy. Oh, it's you. Have you come back for an Atlas Medallion? I can offer you one for a hundred jewels. Alright, we now have the Atlas Medallion. And as I mentioned before, this spell, as far as I know, is glitched. Unless this is a patched ROM or something, which I don't believe it is. So I will never intentionally use this spell. But I will show off the animation right quick. You feel stronger. All right, and that never happened. So we don't need to actually ever use that. And uh, it's like I said, I've heard that that spell is glitched, so I don't ever use it. 
Maybe it's like a final boss fight spell. Like, what the hell? Okay, limestone tablets. We need to trade those for something good, too. Five jars of spice and two beads. We don't have enough fucking beads. Uh, jeweled scarab. A jar of spice. Two bottles. Fuck! <laughs> it's perfume. It's not spoons. So we gotta have to get fucking goddamn perfume. Oi! This is really, you need a guide to do this effectively. I personally, I know some people really do like the market and think it's a cool addition in the game. I personally am not a fan of busy work in games and that's what it feels like to me. Like especially if you don't have a guide and you have to figure this all out on your own. It just feels like tedium and a way to kind of pad out the experience. That's me. I know some people will disagree. Some people really like this kind of stuff. I don't. Three jars of spice per bottle. Just... Oh, I hope that was enough perfume. No, we got we have enough. I'll live with my mistakes and misfortunes. So we're gonna run back yet again. Experience the ambiance. Run back through here yet again to buy this goddamn jeweled scarab. And I think I remember what I actually wanted the scarab for. Alright. Something you need. Jewel scarab. Blah, blah, blah. That sounds good. I like scarabs. Bye. And with that, we should be able to get the moxa stick, which will improve our healing in theory. I don't think that's a glitched item. And if it is, uh, you can leave a lull in the comments. And we're just about to be done here. Because I'm not going to invest too much more time in this video to the marketplace. We've already been over why. Alright, which one of these guys had it? That's the silver sheath. No, leave me alone. Um, wasn't this guy? Moxa stick, two chickens, jeweled scarab, and spice. Indeed, and we now have the Moxa stick that allegedly cures our, makes our healing spells more effective. At least that's what I believe that it does. And uh, all you really need is the power of belief. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Actually, there's one more thing I, I do want to do while I'm here. One more critically important thing that I want to do. Where's the chicken lady? Where's the fucking chicken lady? This is direly important that I show this off. She's around here somewhere, I promise. I don't know where, but she's around here somewhere. I found her by accident earlier and uh, found her very quickly as well. Now I'm having a hard time locating her again. There we go. So uh, if you go over to the chickens here, they make noise. And if you're easily amused, you can just keep tapping the B button over and over again. And I wish I had a turbo controller for this, but I don't. So we're just gonna keep poking the chicken. Uh, you know, choking the chicken. Uh, some other sexual reference, whatever. Never makes you happy. Just keep tapping that B button. Just, just keep on doing it. Don't question why you're doing these things. This is the, uh, the city of long waits, after all. Hey! You! Yes, you! Do not taunt the chickens! Taunt the goats if you want, but leave the chickens alone. That's all. I wasted five minutes of your life for that. When you're on your deathbed, you can curse my name. Okay, um, we still haven't gotten any reagents to cast our heal spell, which is most unfortunate. And I am very unhappy about that. Uh, we might actually have to buy some healing items. I really don't want to do that. But we might have to do that. So we'll heal back up to max, and uh, thankfully we do not have to go on this long ass trek through the desert again this time because we bought some annihilation amulets. Hey, Chief! Do you want a lift? Sure. 
And we do have an Amulet of Annihilation, as a matter of fact. Hop in, Sparky! I'd like to welcome you aboard this non-stop shuttle to Crustacea, the number one spot for skullduggery, villainy, and bad manners. While you're enjoying your stay in Crustacea, you can rub elbows with real pirates, thieves, and scoundrels. We're coming up to one of the highlights of our tour on your right. It's a natural shrub formation that kind of looks like a mummified cat eating a cantaloupe. Stunning. Thank you. Please watch your step on the way out. And that was much, much easier than having to walk all the way through the desert. I guess if you're really shrewd, you can just not buy an amulet of annihilation and walk every time, but... What ho? Wow! It sure took a long time for that rock to fall. <laughs> there we go. That's what happens when you get tiny to throw the rock. So what's our damage like with this sword, anyway? Eh, it's okay. I mean, it's about what we were doing with the fully charged uh, spear, so... I guess that's something. We're not going to get too attached to it anyway. So I don't believe uh, Blimp sells anything we need to heal, but we can s Ah! Oh, you found your dog! And in one piece, too! Well done! Here's something that'll ensure he's always in good health. It's the Revive Formula. Mix three parts root, which you can't get anywhere around here, with one part bone to give your dog life when his energy is depleted. Uh, we're gonna use it more than Atlas. We're never gonna use that, so I guess we can turn that off and use Revive in case we really need to bring our dog back to life. Though I have enough dog biscuits for that, which shouldn't be a problem. And you still don't sell anything remotely useful. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. So I'm gonna double check right quick. But I believe we need Wax and Limestone for Crush which is going to be our new favorite spell to spam. Let me check our alchemy tab here. And for crush, we need limestone and wax. Yes, indeed. And we're going to try to, uh... No, wrong menu. We're going to need to uh, buy as much of that as possible with our limited budget. Okay, we got 50. We want to make sure we get enough wax. If you don't buy them in sets, it doesn't count. All right, so we got about 50 casts. And we're out of money again. So, now we get to go around spamming Crush to try to get it leveled up. And the vicious cycle of RPG uh, grinding continues. Now right now, Crush is not very good, unfortunately. As with all these alchemy formulae, it takes a while to get good. But Crush is a spell we're going to use probably for the rest of the game. So, it's worth leveling up. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you it's the best, but it is easy to get ingredients for, relatively speaking. And it can get to where it does quite a bit of damage per hit. Those are rogues? Those are the least rogue-like rogues I've ever seen. So, so far it's taking quite a few casts to even kill these guys. I mean, admittedly, I'm splitting up the damage, but still. God damn. What happened to Dogbert? How long has Dogbert been dead? I wasn't even paying good attention, I don't know. Okay, well, we finally got it to level up. Maybe it'll actually do some decent damage now. I mean, it went, it doubled uh, the dead's damage output, so that's not too bad. All right. After using like 20 casts of Crush, we finally killed those guys. That was money well spent. And as I mentioned before, if you just want to grind money, killing those uh, rope dudes is actually a pretty good way to do it. I think those guys are called Mad Monks. Uh, they drop a pretty good amount of money if you really are into the grinding thing. This is not a game you have to optimize in order to win, though, so... 
I'm not really into the whole grinding thing. Uh, we don't have enough anything to cast uh, Revive, so I guess we can just give him the old doggo biscuit and move on with our lives. Now, I, re I seem to recall uh, there being a reagent shop here, but I don't think they had roots. That was the item shop. I'm just going to check to see if they have roots here right quick. I don't believe they do. And our little uh, Amulet of Annihilation Duder is not there anymore. Most unfortunate. Ahoy, matey! Nope, I don't know where the reagent guy is around here. The thing is, I don't think they're actually called reagents at any point in the game. I think that's just what I call them. I don't think anywhere in the game are they referred to as such. I think they're called, just called ingredients. But that is a much less thematic name. Alright, let's get on out of here. So now that we have control of the dog, we can actually proceed with this part of the game. We can't make this jump, but Doggo Man can. And we can jump him over here, and we now have access to this side of the river. And we can activate this lift over here, which just magically works by someone standing on it. And now, we can uh, access the other side of the river. Nice little way to lock off that part of the game, I guess. There's actually going to be quite a few sections going forward where we have to use the dog to manipulate puzzle pieces. And I'm sure that'll be loads of fun for the whole family. So we're out looking for the diamond eyes for the obvious evil McBad guys. Ow. Oh. Jesus Christ, come on. Give a man a break. So it kind of strikes me like how really little sense of direction you're ever given in this game. Like I know generally where we have to go at any given point, but like it's generally just go here and find this thing uh, for some reason and something will happen. These guys are little fucks, by the way. They can do quite a bit of damage to you, and I always get hit by them. And they're actually called Dancing Fools. And uh, they fuck me up, usually. Maybe it's just I'm really bad at reading their attack animation, but I get hit by them quite a bit. I really don't really want to spend the time to level up the sword, because we're not going to keep it for very long. The sword, in my personal opinion, is generally the worst weapon you get in any uh, given class. Come on. Alright, we got him. Okay, we have a pit here that we probably can't cross. We're gonna give it the old college try anyway. Oh, we can walk out here. Most excellent. So as you might have gathered, there's actually a hidden path here. Now, I want to challenge myself to see if I can remember the proper way to get across. God damn it, I was close. I almost got it. You okay? You took quite a spill out there. I think I'll be alright. We're getting used to flying and falling. <laughs> I've suffered severe brain damage. Who are you, friend? And where are you from? Well, I... Uh, you're definitely not from Crustacea. No facial hair, tattoos, or visible scars. And you're not from Nobilia, either. No toga or sandals. Actually, we're from... Wait, let me guess. You're from... Podunk. Wow, you're right! I'm Caleb, and this is my dog, Higgins. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Horace Highwater. I too am from Podunk. I figured that you would be just speaking that. I figured that it would just be a matter of time before another Podunker arrived. <laughs> it's the worst name for a, a person from a place. You see, this ancient world is a product of my imagination. 
I was the curator of the National History Museum in Podunk. My area of expertise was early civilizations and apparently piracy. You were part of an experiment in the big mansion on the hill and something went wrong. That's right! Terribly wrong. How did you know? Fire Eye, er, Elizabeth told us about it. She's the leader of the prehistoric world on the plateau. Yes, Elizabeth, Professor Ruffelberg's granddaughter. That was another guest in that party, too. Miss Bluegarden, the librarian. I've always suspected that they were victims of foul play, but by whose hand? I don't know, but if we can find out, we can get those special diamonds. An important guy in the city told me they were very powerful. So, the new leader is after the Diamond Eyes, is he? I thought he would be. They do represent a lot of power, and this fellow is hungry for power. He appeared on the scene only weeks ago and took over Nobilia very quickly indeed. He's very mysterious. None of my contacts have ever, ever seen his face. I would suspect that he has nothing but bad intentions. What should we do? Chances are the leader has other people looking for the diamonds too. I suggest that you find these diamonds first and bring them to me when you have both of them. I'll make sure they don't fall into the wrong hands. The diamonds are in the Hall of Colosia to the north and the Great Pyramid to the south. We've got picks, pits that protect those sites from harmful intruders. You can see hidden paths over these pits by using the Revealer formula. My friend Madronius will give you this formula if you talk to him. Okay, we'll do it. Boy, howdy. And Madronius is hidden under this little tarp over here. Sounds like you've had a very interesting adventure indeed. I am Madronius, the alchemist. I've studied with Horus for many years. The new leader of Nobilia does not respect the treasures of our world. We have dug pits in front of the pyramid and hall in order to keep him and his men away. My revealer formula will allow you to see the paths across these pits. Cool. So what do we not need? You know, you don't need levitate very often, but I always keep it equipped. Just in case. It's like I'm paranoid you're gonna need it for something. Revive? Oh, never mind. I got excited. You need ash and wax. Lame. We're counting on you to save the treasures of the world. Would you like to buy ingredients? Could you give them to me for free? It's vinegar. That's the little PP drop. We don't need that, though. We can finally buy roots again, which is nice. We're going to get a little bit more wax for the revealer formula. Uh, we have plenty of ash. Uh, how many roots can we buy? Not as many as I'd like, but we'll do the best we can. My brother is an alchemist as well. He has a hiding place in the Hall of Colosia. Check the walls. If you find him, he might help you. That's a hint. That's a hint from one of them there. Secret alchemy formulae. Hello, kid. You look like you could use some rest. I can offer you a good night's sleep for 20 jewels. Would you like to stay? Not for that price, but sure, why not? Dogbird has gotten himself beat the fuck out again. Hope you had a good rest. Would you like me to record your progress? And uh, we're gonna do that. So I don't know, I have no idea how long I've been playing at this point. I didn't start a stopwatch this time around. But I figured we could at least go have a leaf on brimstone. God damn, man. Anyway, we can at least go have a look around the halls of clues, yeah. Now, as far as I know, it doesn't matter what order you do them in. You can do the Pyramid first, or you can do the Hall of Colosia first. I almost always do the Halls first, because, uh... Well, I'm just gonna tell you, you get the Spear there, and I like the Spear. And having more time with the Spear means more time to level up the Spear, and you guys know how this works. More time to level up the Spear means bigger, better Spear. And I like bigger... And we're just gonna leave that where it is. So... We now have the Revealer formula, which means I can get across to this without making an ass of myself. I was really hoping I'd be able to do this from memory, but, oh well. Oh, you gotta go way, way over here to do it. That was my mistake. 
So this place, this place is cool. You can feel the ambiance. I need money, let's kill these guys. Oh, there's three of them. Nice. And they really don't have a lot of hit points either. That's probably why they're good to grind as well, because you can kill them quick without a lot of uh, without a lot of fuss. So we had basically no money left. Let's see, we got 269 jewels now just from killing those three dudes. That's actually not bad. If you wanted to grind for money, you could just do it out here, I guess. Or anywhere where those monks spawn. And I think killing them is actually cheaper than the ingredients you get for one cast of- You son of a bitch. This is my kill. I guess you are a son of a bitch if you want to get technical about it. Moving on with our lives. Now, this is a very, uh, atmospheric dungeon. I'm quite fond of the music here, and this place is generally just dark and creepy, and I like it. I do not like navigating this dungeon, however. It's a pain in the ass. Though, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna say that about literally every dungeon in this game. <laughs> because they're all pains in the ass, but whatever. It's like, it's got kind of a, almost a Greek theme to it, but it's also creepy. I like it. And the lighting effects are pretty cool, especially for the SNES. I like it. Looks so we haven't, there's another little pathway there we need the revealer formula for. I'm glad we missed those big spikes. That would have hurt. <laughs> this poor kid. I do not remember the correct order to go in here. So we're gonna have to explore this dungeon ye old fashioned way. Isn't that gonna be fun? Guess we'll use our revealer formula and actually see where we're going. My memory is not quite good enough to do it without looking it up. Oh, you really put enemies on here? Do she? Found some nectar. Greetings, young friend. Would you like me to record your progress? Uh, I guess. See you later! Okay, that's all that was for. I'm glad I wasted my time doing that. Alright, there's these little offshoot hallways. Way to go. There's these little offshoot hallways I think we have to go into. God damn it! Just make me look like a jackass, why don't you? There's these little offshoot hallways we have to go into. Okay, never fucking mind. Jesus, I don't know what I'm talking about. There's hallways somewhere in the halls of Colosia, but I don't know where they are. In fact, I'm starting to doubt their existence in the first place. Okay, well we have another pathway here. Maybe this will lead us to somewhere good. Or possibly just more disappointment. I hope you like disappointment. God damn it. Because that's what you're going to get. Well, Higgins, I think our experiments with gravity have been a success. And I'm pretty sure my revealer cast is gone by now. Nope, still there. Vinegar. Is that a door I hear? Okay, so that opened a door somewhere. I don't know where. Not here. Maybe we'll try this one. Not here. It's gonna be the last fucking one I try, isn't it? Yep. It absolutely will be. Okay, at least I put a little light on the floor so you can not bash your head against a wall. That's nice. That's nice of it. So, as uh, Horace's buddy hinted at, there is an alchemist in here somewhere. But I don't remember where exactly. So... Uh, I may or may not actually locate them. And if I'm not mistaken, what we're looking for here is basically more of those little face plates to, uh, and it, it's a literal face plate. It is a, fate, a plate with a face on it. We are looking for more of those to open more doors, and once we open all the doors, we'll be good to go. Alright, no passageway here. These slimes are a pain in the butt to kill, and I don't think they're that good to kill either. They don't really give you a lot of money or XP. I usually just run past them. Or try to, and get hit in the balls. 
one or the other. And we actually have enough to cast heal again. We can cast... 25 casts isn't bad. The dog is getting beat up as always. Ooh, nice. We'll reveal our work here. I think those little plates on the ground are a pretty good indication of when you should use Revealer, so I probably don't have to go and try that on every single pit we run into. So far, this adventure over here has been a bust. Well, shit. I do not know where we're going now. Don't th oh, here we go. Switch. Oh, this place has time switches. Oh, I remember this little slice of hell. I remember doing... I was playing this game on my phone when we had a power outage and trying to do some of these time puzzles with uh, touch controls, and it was miserable. Like this. This is a time puzzle. I already remember. And I'm already, already angry, because these enemies respawn, you can't just go through the halls and clear them out, so you have to hope you can run past these little bastards and get to where you need to go. So we gotta go all the way up here. Oh, son of a bitch. And try to avoid getting uh, hit in the... F Double loot. Alright, he had a call bead. Okay, I don't question these things. And we have to run all the way over here, I think. That's gonna be loads of fun for the whole family. And I'm getting my ass kicked. So let's pop another healing spell over here, and I guess we'll get ready to try to make this run. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I'm in pain already. Because you gotta avoid getting hit by these guys with one or two hits, and that's, uh, that's your time. You're done. Alright. So we'll use the old save state. I'm gonna see if I can be a little bit cheesy with it. I don't know if this will work or not, but I'm gonna try it. Can we use the horn spear to give us just a little bit of an advantage if we do a little toss toss here? No, they thought of that. Or rather, they didn't think of that. Alright. Er, fucking hell. These things are the bane of my existence, all right? Up, around, there's one in this hallway right here. And we're too late. Oh my god. All right, try again. I think there might be a formula you can use that gives you like unlimited stamina or something for a brief period of time. And that might be God's chosen way to do this thing. I don't I don't know if speed actually literally makes you faster or not though. We'll give it a shot. Really? Seems like we ran a little bit faster and for a little bit longer. I think I might want to abandon- Fuck! Fuck me, man. I don't know if speed is actually making me any faster or not, if it's just in my head. There's probably some way you can just glitch along the edge of the screen down there. It's probably like the ideal way to do it. Fucking hell. I seem to remember this. This might not even be something you have to do, but I don't remember. Okay. I've got another idea. We're going to try this time. We're going to try to see if we can clear out those monsters along the way. Not hit them, because that would take far too long. But as soon as we see them, like, come up here, because I think the game is paused while you're doing this, and throw shit at them. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, he still hit me and knocked me back. Most unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try that again. We're, we're done. 
Okay, that opened something somewhere. This might be a, an instance of me just being really stupid. We'll see. Did that open a thing over here? No. It did a thing somewhere. I don't think they respawn this time, though. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they don't respawn. Fucking fuck! <laughs> uh, I don't care about your secret passageway out of the pit. Go fuck yourself, kid. <laughs> okay. So we know these guys... Well, we theorize these guys don't respawn. I wouldn't swear to it. So we'll try this again. Do the old healy heal here. You know what? I don't trust these guys. We're gonna get rid of this little slime thing anyway. Alright. Saving it. Making the run for it. Probably should use speed or something. God damn you. Get the... Okay. Okay. And we made it. And I think... I was doing that out of order anyway, so... It's a good thing I didn't succeed at first, because that's how you have to get back across the pit, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a good thing I didn't succeed, I suppose. All's well, it ends well. I don't really see myself having to use save states all that much, though. I don't plan to use save states to cheese battles, just to save a little bit of time. Like, starting that puzzle over, even though we did apparently didn't need to start that puzzle over. And apparently enemies don't respawn. And I was making it far more difficult on myself than I had to. And hopefully you got a chuckle out of it at least. So we opened a door somewhere. I think we opened another one up off the main hallway over here. Yep. This one down here. Ooh, mini boss. It is a mini tar. That's cute. No lie. I'll give you some points for that. So uh, the revival spell costs uh, three roots, and I would rather not use three roots, so we're just going to feed him a biscuit. Uh, we can probably deal without spell stacking. We don't need to cheese this boss. We'll face him. We'll face him legit. But we are still going to crush the shit out of him. I mean, I didn't invest in this spell for nothing. So, I mean, you don't, you don't technically have to spell stack, it just makes things a bit faster, I guess. It is more convenient, you might say. I guess we'll go ahead and pop a heal on both of us. I said we'll pop a heal on both of us. Get us back up to max. I'd hate for us to be in any real danger, of course. Who wants to live on the edge? Yay! He's very proud of his accomplishments. And a switch appeared. And we've now unlocked more of the Halls of Colosia. No idea how long I've been recording so far this session. I think I'm gonna go ahead and save and call this a session for now. And we'll wrap up the Halls of Colosia yeah, in the next, uh, in the next session, yeah? Just gotta get to this yonder save point. Crush is already level 3, and it's already to the point where it's pretty darn effective. We're gonna go ahead and record our progress, override Blimp's Cave up here. And I will see all of you next time, where we will wrap up the Halls of Colosia. And, uh, hopefully I won't have to encounter any more timing puzzles. But I probably still will. <laughs> still will. <laughs> you guys have fun. Take care of yourselves.